time you win, just stop. Stop. You can pick whatever pizza you want. Just stop. <laughs> Everybody, it's Thursday, and that means it's time for another Princess Doll review, except I'm changing it up on you guys. I am actually going to be reviewing the princes for the rest of until I finish all of them. So today, I'm going to be starting with the very first prince, and that is going to be Snow White's prince. Da ding Since Snow White is the fairest of them all, I think this guy should be the homeliest of them all. This poor dude is such an unimportant character to the movie that he doesn't even have a proper first name. Even on his box, it's The Prince. At least Cinderella's prince has a name like Prince Charming. Like Prince. Like that's pretty G. At least it's not like The. The is so like, huh. In any case, let's start talking about this guy. In the original story, Prince Charming wandered out into the forest, found a little dead girl, put her in his carriage, and drove off with her intending to have his way with her. Nice, huh? However, in the Disney version, our hero The shows up at a castle, serenades a young princess, runs off into the forest and shows up in the last couple seconds of the movie to kiss a little dead girl he found out there. You know, because that's the very first thing that you think of doing when you see a dead girl in the forest, is laying a big old wet one on her, right? Again, he's totally useless. Where was he during the entire thing? Why didn't Snow White kiss any of the dwarves? Why was he her one true love? So let's talk about this pedorific dude. He is creepy. He's got really pretty blue eyes though, and I can say that about him, and I do appreciate that about him. His arms pose out so you can make him resemble Jesus Christ. His hair isn't real, it's plastic, as most of the other princes are, with the exception of Shang. His costume is all one piece, the cape doesn't come off, it all detaches from the back and goes all the way down, however the pants are a completely different piece of the costume. I have the same problem with the belt as I do with a lot of the princesses, that it doesn't extend to the back. However, it makes a little bit of sense, considering that to put fabric all the way around where the piece is velcroed, I guess it wouldn't make sense considering it goes all the way down where some of the other princesses, the cuts go down to about here and the fabric doesn't extend all the way back. That seems cheap to me. Also, they kind of made up for it by hiding it with this cape. If you're feeling a little pervy, as some of us always do, yes, he doesn't have abs. And his undies are light blue. He has boots, which are really cool. These are a thicker kind of plastic, and they break at the end so that you can take them off easily. Finally, his knee doesn't click all the way in like the Disney princesses, so you can't really lay him down on his back without him kind of just looking like he's asking for sex. We can't always have perfect things. And for a Disney prince coming from the Disney store, this is darn good. Overall, I give this pedorific The a solid 3 out of 5 because he scares the crap out of me, but nowhere near as much as Charming does. I'll say he's a four and a half. Because the costume's nice, the face sculpt is good, he looks like his character in the movie. He's just creepy. He doesn't have abs. If this guy had abs, he'd get a five. Because I'm fickle like that. I want my princesses to look gorgeous, and I want my guys to have abs. That's what I want. And he doesn't got them. Does Prince Eric have abs? Now let's talk about them as a complete set. I think that the two of them are adorable. I think you should also know that I jacked this red cape from Shang. It didn't actually come with her. Um, I think that the two of them are so cute together. Mm. As couple dolls, I give them a solid five out of five. They're just way too cute and they, they complement each other well. I think that the way that Snow White is done up and the way that the is just so plain and boring, I think that the two of them totally complement each other. They seem way less creepy than their actual book characters are. And I just, I love the way that their, their clothes are similar. They look just nice together. The yellow really complements the blue. Oh, they're just, they're way too cute. They, they just need a hat to fight and some dwarves. And they're done. Join me next week while I will be reviewing Prince Charming. I'm really not excited because he's actually really creepy. I'll talk to you later. Peace out. Ich